It's currently Saturday night. I'm at home by myself, hanging out as usual. I'm just sitting here in my comfy sweater, trying to stay warm with my coffee and sitting down in front of you guys, showing you what my favorite products are. <laughs> What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Lizelle and today's video is gonna be something that I haven't done for a really long time. I'm gonna be showing you guys what my current favorites are. Those of you guys who have been watching me for a while would know that I used to try and do monthly favorites where I basically show you guys what products I've been loving for the past month. However, I don't really buy too much makeup anymore. I mean, I have more than enough. So I'm kind of going through this phase at the moment where I'm not really buying as much makeup and products and I don't really have new things that I'm trying out all the time, if that makes sense. But occasionally I do like to pop back up with my current favorites where it's basically the same thing. I show you what I've been loving as of late. So I've got like a mixture of things. I've got some accessories, hair products, skincare products, all that kind of thing. So if you're interested to see what I have been loving lately, keep on watching. If you do enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, you know what to do. Join the crew by hitting the little red subscribe button down below. First things first that I want to show you guys is actually something that I am wearing. So it's this bad boy right here. This is a watch. Let me actually take it off so you guys can get a better view of it. So this was actually sent to me from the guys over at the Peach Box. They reached out to me a little while ago asking me if I'd be interested in any of their pieces. And this one caught my eye and I've been obsessed with it. This has become, this has actually become the watch that I wear to work and I've gotten so many compliments on it. First of all, I'm not typically a rose gold kind of girl. I mean, the silver or gold, like I don't really swing the rose gold way. But I don't know, something about this one just caught my eye. For me personally, I feel like my style is very simple like i like things that look nice but aren't too over the top and too much if that makes sense so i'm into the fact that this really does represent that like it looks nice but it is very like classic and simple a little bit about this watch as well is that it is completely adjustable like you can slide this across to adjust it to your desired length and it's really easy to put on literally it's just like put it on and snap it into place. Also, another cool thing about it is that you can actually, let me take this off right now. You can take off the bands and change them for different ones. So they snap off pretty easily and they're easy to put back on. So I also do have this spare wristband that I can interchange with it as well. But I kind of just prefer the mesh one for the time being. I feel like it goes with it really well. So yeah, I've really been loving this watch lately. It has been the watch that I wear on the daily, which I do have another watch that I typically wear, but that's like my more expensive like watch that I try not to wear every day because I'm scared I'm going to lose it. So I feel like this one has been perfect for me for work and I have been getting a lot of compliments on it. I also just wanted to mention that the guys over at the Peach Box were so kind enough to give me a code to give to you guys. So if you want to get 15% off pretty much anything on their website I'm pretty sure I will leave all the finer details of it down below so if you enter Lizelle Cosgrove at checkout that will give you some money off so this next product that I'm going to show you guys is something that I'm pretty sure I have spoken about on my channel in the past however it was discontinued and I'm sure I let you guys know about that because I was really upset about it and I remember talking to some of you guys about it as well. But they recently brought it back and as soon as I saw that they did, I had to stock up. So this is it right here. Some of you may recognize this. And if you do, yes, this is the Daiso Makeup Brush Cleaner. Oh my goodness, you guys, I'm telling you. There is nothing out there that will get the stains out of my makeup brushes like this does right here. So it's actually labeled as a puff sponge detergent, which makes it perfect for cleaning beauty blenders. It, I like, I kid you not, I cannot begin to describe how much it cleans them. Like it makes them ultimately brand new again. So even though this is advertised as a sponge cleaner, it is amazing at cleaning your brushes as well. And the best part about it as well is that it's only like $2.80, I think. Maybe $2 if you're in the US, I can't remember, but I know that it's super inexpensive. So whenever I see that they have this in stock, best believe I like pick up five to 10 bottles of it because it's that good. And when they did discontinue this, honestly, I was lost. Like I was just using typical dish soap detergent and it wasn't doing the same thing. So I'm so glad that they brought this back. And I'm telling you guys, if you can get your hands on it, 
even just a bottle to try like it's only a couple of dollars once you try it you are going to want to get more i'm telling you next up i have a skincare item to show you guys it's in this little orb ball looking thing right here so this was actually sent to me in pr not too long ago and i tried it and i've been using it ever since i know this is really bad but i'm not 100 sure on how to pronounce the name i think it is Sasu. I'm gonna leave like all the links and everything to it down below, but this is the shimmering eye gel and it has gold in it Like let me show you guys real quick. Do you guys see that like the gold flakes inside? Yes, that is legitimately real gold I don't know why but my skin loves that shit I used to have a primer that I used in the past and damn it I can't remember what the name of it is off the top of my head or what brand it's from but my skin like lapped that up like crazy. I don't know why my skin has to be bougie for and only like things with gold in it. And yes, I'm just being extra. Of course I can use other skincare products, but when a skincare product has gold in it, my skin goes next level like crazy good. So I've been using this for a couple of weeks now and honestly, like I'm not even kidding. I've noticed a difference in my under eyes, I feel like for a little bit there, because I don't get too much sleep, I do have a problem where I don't really sleep too much. I mean, I guess that is my choice, but I have noticed that my under eye area has been aging ever so slightly. It's either the lack of sleep or your girl's just getting old, but regardless, this stuff, I can't stop like rolling it in my hands. This thing has really helped me. I don't know what it is, but something about the gold in this just takes it to another level. I guess you could say that this is my nightly eye cream. I just apply this underneath my eyes right before bed, let it do its thing overnight, and when I wake up the next morning, I don't even look tired, even if I've only had like four to six hours of sleep. Something about this just makes me look so refreshed and awake, like today. I've only had a few hours of sleep and I feel like I, I don't look too bad. But yeah, this right here has definitely been a godsend for me. So I was recently going through my makeup drawers and I have this specific drawer where I keep all of the samples that I've either been sent or given. I just like to go through that every now and then just to see what's new and what I can try. And I came across this. So this is the Moroccan oil hair treatment. Now this isn't new to the market or anything. I know this has been out for a really long time. I'm pretty sure I used to use this when I was in high school, I think. But I saw this little bottle in my drawer and I was like, oh my goodness, you're so cute. I need to use you. So yeah, I've been using this a lot lately. And honestly, like if you guys can see, it's barely even being used up. Like it looks like I haven't even opened it. But this stuff is great. Now I have a really weird hair type. My hair isn't straight. It's not curly. It's just like, how do I describe it? It's like wavy in between. It's a frizzy mess, to be frank. So typically I do straighten my hair just because it is so much easier to manage and maintain and just style when it's straight. I only ever really wear it natural during the summer when it's hot and I just cannot be bothered to straighten my hair because it ends up sweating out and getting all gross and frizzy and wavy anyway. So this stuff has been great for like just making my hair look nice and shiny and healthy because obviously when you straighten it all the time, it's not gonna look the best, but I really do feel like this stuff has been helping me to keep my hair looking healthy. So what I do is I do my normal hair routine, wash it, shampoo, condition in the shower, and then after I'm done with that, letting it air dry a little bit, I will brush it and then apply this into the palm of my hands and just like run it through the ends and work it up towards the middle of my hair. I don't put it on my roots because I have a very very oily skin type which naturally means that I do have oily hair as well so if you're like me and you have an oily skin type you don't want to bring up your hair oils to the root you just want to keep them at the ends where it needs the most help so yeah I've really been loving this lately I feel like it makes my hair look really shiny healthy and it also makes it soft I always get people coming up to me being like wow your hair is so long I can't believe how long it's getting what do you do to it honestly I don't really think I do anything too special but I guess this has helped so if you're looking for a good hair oil, I definitely recommend this one. Speaking of hair products, here I am saying that I don't do too much to my hair and that I'm showing you all these treatments, but I do have another hair thing to show you guys. So this is from the brand, I'm pretty sure it's this right here called Hask. Hask? Hask? But you can find this at Priceline if you are here in Australia. I'm pretty sure this retails for like four or five dollars. Essentially, it is a hair treatment and they have many different kinds. 
for frizzy, oily, dry, damaged hair, that kind of thing. I like this one, which is a keratin protein treatment. So it's basically a smoothing deep conditioner and it says that it softens and prevents breakage in weak damaged hair. Now I wouldn't say that my hair is weak and damaged. I feel like my hair is pretty healthy, like it ain't too bad. And I feel like I owe it to this. Like this really does help to keep my hair nice and healthy and soft. I probably do one of these treatments every month or like twice a month if I'm feeling extra. And this I actually do put all the way through my hair, like on the ends, all the way up to the roots, all over, lather that shit up, like I put this all throughout my hair. And it also makes my hair smell really good. So I low key wanna do this right now, it's a Saturday night. I should be like having a pamper night by myself. But I'd recommend if you can get your hands on this, like I said, it's only a couple of dollars. If you are here in Australia, you can find it at Priceline definitely is a must try. And like I did mention, they do have different types for different hair types. I just personally like this one because I feel like, yeah, it does its thing for me. Next up, I have a mascara to show you guys. Now, I don't really venture out with mascaras. Those of you guys who watch me regularly and if you watch my tutorials, you know that I only ever really use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara or the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. So those two are like my ride or die go to, love them, they're amazing. But I did want to try out something new because those two mascaras are considered as higher end mascaras and I don't really have like a favorite drugstore mascara, so to speak. So I recently picked this up. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect Mascara and I don't know why I didn't try this sooner. To be honest, I used to think that all mascaras were the same. I was just like, what's the point of different mascaras? They're all just gonna make your lashes black. No, like I was wrong. I feel like this one is really good at lengthening my lashes and just making them look super like fanned out as the name suggests, full fan effect. So this is how the little applicator looks. As you can see, it has that nice curve to it. So it's really easy to just like, Put it on. I feel like whenever I wear this mascara, it just makes my lashes look really long and defined. It doesn't give me as much volume as the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, but it is really good at just making my eyes look really bright and like Bambi-like. I always get a lot of compliments from people on my eyes whenever I wear this mascara. They're like, wow, your lashes are really long. And I'm like, thanks, it's all because of this. So yeah, I think it's safe to say that this is probably like a drugstore favorite of mine because I didn't have one before. If you guys have any other recommendations for drugstore mascaras, let a girl know, leave a comment down below telling me what your favorite is. But for now, this one, like I've been obsessed with it and it's pretty inexpensive. So I would recommend trying it out if you're looking for a new mascara. Speaking of lashes, now you guys know that I am an avid wearer of falsies. 99% of the time, whenever I am vlogging, I get so many questions from people asking me, what lashes I'm wearing, whether they're my natural lashes, whether they're extensions, just what are they? So in my vlogs, I'm always wearing the Ardell Wispies. Those are my go-to, ride or die, love them, they're amazing. But lately, I've also been obsessed with the House of Lashes falsies in the style Siren. Now, I'm actually wearing a pair today and it's kind of hard to tell like when I'm looking down you can't really tell what they are um so let me just show you them in the packet as you can see very much my style super full wispy nothing too crazy nothing too intense I have kind of gone off like the intense fully dramatic lash kind of vibe lately I feel like I only want lashes to kind of enhance my eyes whereas before in the past when I was filming tutorials, I just wanted them to take over the look pretty much. Obviously not intentionally, but that is typically what falsies will do is sometimes if they're too dramatic, they'll just take over the entire eye. So I feel like with these, they are really nice because they do add a little something to the eye without taking over the entire look, especially with like a look like this today. Obviously I want the yellow to be popping on my eyes and I don't want to cover it up. And I feel like the lashes kind of just, you know, they're like the little cherry on top, little icing on the cake. I also forgot to mention that these have an Invisi band, so you can barely even tell that they're on. I always get people asking me like, how do you make your falsies look like you're not wearing falsies? To be honest, it really is in the band. I typically go for lashes that, I don't know if you guys can tell by looking at that right there, but I go for lashes that don't have a thick band because that is what makes it really obvious. So if you go for a lash that has a band like this, where it's 
an invisi band where it's supposed to be invisible but obviously there's something there it's just a lot thinner than a typical lash band i feel like that is a really good way of making it look like you have falsies on without it making it look like you have falsies on if that makes sense now i don't know if i've spoken about this on my channel before i feel like i have but lately I've been really obsessed with it because it is winter and I don't want to be ashy. This right here, Nivea moisturizer. It's a must. If you get dry skin, you need this. Even if you don't, you need this. So this is the intensive moisturizing serum with almond oil for dry to very dry skin. Now, I personally don't have dry skin. I mean, Obviously, if I don't moisturize for a long period of time, I'm going to naturally get ashy. But I don't have super dry skin. However, I feel like this really does help take care of that for me. And it smells really good, so that's also a plus as well. I, this is so random to be sharing like a moisturizer. But I feel like moisturizer is something that needs to be a part of everybody's routine. For me personally, what I do is I have my shower once I'm done, obviously dry myself off, and then I'll go straight into applying moisturizer. A lot of people don't know this, but the best time to apply your moisturizers is straight out of the shower because during your shower, you are drying out your skin. If you think about it, especially in the winter time, I don't know about you guys, but I like to have really hot showers like i don't think anybody else could handle the kind of shower that i like to have because i don't even have any cold water like it's just straight hot so naturally with a hot shower your skin is going to dry out a little and i feel like after a shower when your pores are all nice and opened up that is the best time to apply a moisturizer and that is what I use this for is straight out of the shower. It's crazy because when I was younger, I used to hate applying moisturizer, just that feeling of like when you have to wait for it to settle in. But now if I don't apply moisturizer, I feel naked. Like I feel like I'm missing something. It's like a part of my skincare routine is missing, you know? So literally I just will sit there and lather this on and let it soak in and I feel like it just makes me feel good. <laughs> Once again, super inexpensive. I'm pretty sure you can buy this from the grocery store even. So if you see it, pick it up they have many different sizes if you just want to try it but yes i love this stuff shout out to nivea you did good and i feel like this is something that needs to be a part of everybody's daily routine so let me tell you that i never ever ever thought that i would like this stuff just because i am very particular when it comes to my brows i mean i don't have the best brows in the world and they're not perfect but i just I have a routine down with them and I know how I like them to look and I know how I like to do them. So when I saw this product first get released to the market, I was like, hell no, like skipping that. We're not doing that. But I don't know why recently I was looking at it and I was like, let me just give it a try. So this is the Maybelline Tattoo Brow. I kid you not, you guys, I bought this, I used it and I'm in love with it. I never thought that I would like this stuff. I don't know, I kind of just wanted to try it just to say that I tried it, but now I can't stop using it. I'm sure you guys have all heard about this before, but essentially it is a gel brow tint that you apply to your brows. You let it sit and dry. I'm pretty sure you can leave it on for up to two hours. I typically will leave it on for about that long while I'm doing other things like editing, cleaning. And then once you're done, you pretty much just peel it off and your brows are there for the next like three days, which is crazy. I actually do have it in my brows today. Um, I do still fill in my brows though, but not as much as I typically would. And I feel like this is awesome because on the days where I don't wanna do anything and I don't wanna wear any makeup or like I'm going to the gym or something, this is perfect because I can apply it three days prior to and it'll still be in my brows, like the name suggests, tattoo brow, even though it isn't permanent. But I feel like it's just good to have, like you look put together without even trying, even though you did something like a few days ago. This little thing is like one less step that I have to do. And I'd have to say that filling in my brows in the morning when I'm getting ready to go to work, go out, that kind of thing is like cut in half. Like I barely have to do anything to them. So yeah, I can't believe I'm saying it, but yes, I've actually been obsessed with this. And no, it doesn't make your brows look like a block, if that makes sense. Cause I know when you apply it, it can kind of look like, damn, like you got those thin straight brows going on or like you just got like the block brows but I don't know when you take it off and you wash your face and you do your thing it kind of fades and it looks really natural at least it does for me so yeah I can't believe I'm saying it but yes I have been obsessed with this stuff I actually have been considering like going down the feather brow tattoo route but I'm not too sure just because 
I don't know, I'm not really sure if I'm ready for like such a permanent thing for my brows. For the meantime though, like I'm happy with this, love this stuff. Um, if you guys are wondering what color I use, I have gray brown. I'm pretty sure there's like light brown, medium brown, dark brown gray brown correct me if i'm wrong but i use the gray brown that's pretty much it you guys that is everything that i had to show you guys today i feel like i'm forgetting something but no that's everything that i had to show you guys so i want you guys to comment down below and let me know what your current favorite product has been as of late if you did enjoy this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you're still here at the end watching and you're not yet subscribed you may as well hit the little red button down below before you go so you don't miss any more videos that i post i'm gonna leave a list of all the products that i talked about in the video as well as any links and codes and all that down in the description box below where you can also find all the links to my social media accounts so if you want to keep up with me on twitter instagram facebook or snapchat it's all down there before i close out this video i of course have to do comment of the day so Comment of the day goes to, I'm gonna leave it right here. I'm pretty sure your username is Arissa. Shout out to you, thank you for such a sweet comment. It means the world. If you guys wanna be featured in my next comment of the day, make sure you leave me a comment down below. With that being said, I hope you guys are having a fabulous week. I will talk to you in the comments and I shall see you all in my next video.